In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Snagit to record your instructional videos or your solutions to your questions. So we've already created our canvas on Dabbleboard. We've gone into the wiki spaces. We've, uh, copied the, we've copied the question and we've pasted it into Dabbleboard, as you can see here. And maybe you've done some other um, drawings into Dabbleboard that you want to include. Maybe you've uploaded some images like we did in the last video. You uploaded um, a concept map or you created a concept map or you uploaded a diagram of something, whatever. You've put it onto your Dabbleboard and now you're ready to create your video. So we're going to create our videos using Snagit. So you've downloaded Snagit and you've activated it on your computer and you should see something like this appear on the right hand of your screen. Or if not, you can see Snagit pop up in the toolbar. So you can use the same features here. But this is just uh, on the right hand side here. This is a uh, easy way to control everything that you need to do with the Snagit video recorder. So the first two buttons that you need to pay attention to here, the first one is the Im image capture mode. So you can see that when I select uh, the blue button here, the image capture mode that the red button turns into a camera as well. So that's for if, if you want to just copy, you want to select an image or you want to select something from your screen and you want to take a picture of it and save that as an image file, then you would use that. But in this case, we want to create a video. We want to capture a video of us on the screen. So we're going to select the video button down here. And when we select that, this red button turns into a video as well. Then we're going to select the red button. And now we have a, a magnifier or a scope that we can use to select which area of the screen we want to record. Because sometimes you may want to record the entire desktop. Sometimes you may want to record just a window like I've done here. Or you may want to zoom in on specific areas of the screen. So in this case, you can see that if I move the, my mouse up to the left-hand corner of the desktop, now I'm controlling. Now I would be recording the entire screen. And if I move the, uh, the uh, selector in, now I've selected the entire window. But for the purposes of our videos, I don't want this entire top banner showing in our video, CTS Connect, Dabbleboard, MCA, and all my bookmarks there. So I could zoom in even closer. And you can see that that's about as far as I can zoom in. So I'm going to select there, but that's not good. I don't want this toolbar of Dabbleboard showing above. So I grab my mouse and I scroll over the line above. And you can see that I could move that, adjust that, uh, more fine-tune fine, fine -tune it even more. So I could zoom it into here. Actually, I want to go a little bit lower, below where it says Add Page in the center. And I'm going to bring this in as, in as well. Okay, so where this box is, that is what the video is going to record. So even if you wanted to post some notes or a script outside of this box that you wanted to read or that you wanted to refer to while you were giving your video, those notes then wouldn't show in the video. So you could type it up in text edit or in Word and minimize it to you know up here, above here somewhere, up. Uh, where your banner is or on the side and that wouldn't record in the video. We're, the only thing we'll be recording is this uh, box here. So now we're ready to record. We've selected our area and I'm just going to come down here and select record. And it's going to give me a countdown. So I've got a few seconds to get ready. Three, two, one. And you'll see these uh, banners on the side moving. That means that I'm recording my video. Um, and the great thing about this is I can still come up here uh, into my Dabbleboard toolbar and while I'm giving my instructional video, I can select tools and I can still draw on the screen. So anything I want to put in there, say I want to type something. Okay, I can still type, I can still draw objects, if I wanted to draw a uh, diagram or something to help explain the solution, I can still do that. But it's not going to show me coming up here 
and selecting all these different tools, right? It's just going to show this box here. So I've, I've, uh, I'm done my video, my short, you know, two, three minute video. I'm able to draw on it. I've given my explanation and uh, I've told them, all right, the answer is B. And I'm finished recording. I just come down here and I select the stop, stop button. And you just wait a few seconds and instantly it, it just pops up and here's your video. So you can review your video and see how you're speaking and see if you've made any mistakes, double check anything. And when you're done and ready, you can see in the right corner of the screen here, you see YouTube. You're going to upload that to YouTube. You're going to select YouTube. And as your username, you're going to select CTS staff. And your password is also going to be the same thing. CTS, oh sorry, that's no, don't do that. It's CTS Canadian Career College staff. CTS CCC staff and the same password. TS CCC staff. And you're going to log in and it's going to validate your username and password. This is our YouTube site. So this is where we're going to be uploading all of our instructional videos to so we can save it in this repository. And that's it. The video should upload to YouTube. It'll save it there and uh, then I can get some more uh, editing done in it from there. And that's, that's it. That's all you need to do.